Trevor buys a bag of cookies that contains nine chocolate chip cookies, five peanut butter cookies, five sugar cookies, and six oatmeal raisin cookies. What is the probability that Trevor randomly selects a peanut butter cookie from the bag, eats it, then randomly selects another peanut butter cookie? We're asked to express the probability as a reduced fraction. So because the outcome of selecting a peanut butter cookie the first time affects the probability of selecting a peanut butter cookie the second time, we call these two events dependent. When we have two dependent events, the probability of them both occurring is equal to the probability of the first event occurring, the probability of selecting a peanut butter cookie in this case, times the probability of the second event given the first event has occurred. So the second probability would be the probability of a peanut butter cookie given a peanut butter cookie has already been selected. So we'll find these two probabilities, then find the product. Well remember the probability compares the favorable number of outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So let's begin by determining the total number of cookies. We have nine plus five plus five plus six total cookies, which would be twenty-five total cookies. So the probability of selecting a peanut butter cookie the first time, since there are five peanut butter cookies, would be five twenty-fifths. There are five peanut butter cookies out of a total of twenty-five cookies. And now to update the information, now there's only four peanut butter cookies in the bag. So now to determine the probability of selecting another peanut butter cookie, given a peanut butter cookie has already been selected, now there's no longer twenty-five cookies, there's only twenty-four cookies. So there's twenty-four total outcomes possible. And now instead of five peanut butter cookies, there's only four. So the probability of selecting a peanut butter cookie the second time would be four twenty-fourths. And now before we find this product though, let's simplify. Five twenty-fifths simplifies to one-fifth and four twenty-fourths simplifies to one-sixth. So one-fifth times one-sixth equals one-thirtieth. So this is the probability of selecting a peanut butter cookie and then going back and selecting another peanut butter cookie. Which means theoretically the chance of this occurring would be one time out of every thirty tries. I hope you found this helpful.